All right. Well, I mean, I'm at the shack. That's normal. Uh, I'm just gonna pretend that's not there, I guess. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm not really doing anything important today. I'm just kind of... Do I have something I'm supposed to... Never mind. All right. Um. I don't like that sign. I don't. I don't like it. Um. That. No. I'm taking that. I mean. I guess I'm just gonna kind of walk around. I don't really have anything to do. I don't even know why I have that. I can't wear it. Actually, I want that back. Um, I guess I'll just kind of give a tour. I mean, that's just... Uh, the, uh, not important. Um, oh, this is Umbreed's house! Or, what was their name again? God, I don't remember. Names are hard. Anyway, I don't know, I mean... I'm just gonna give a tour. I mean, that's the shack. I live there. Uh, that's the quarry. Ooh, the box. The box. I love the box. Okay. I don't really remember what this was used for. I was kind of out of it that day. Um, it's just... I don't know. It's the box. It's just this big box. I don't know why this is here. There used to be dispensers here. I don't know if they're still here. No, they're not. All right. The bees! I love the bees. Okay, I love the bees so much. Oh. That's probably a delay. Anyway. Um. Yeah, the bees, man. The bees. I love the bees. I love the bees. All right. Anyway. That's the bee dome. People keep killing my bees. It makes me really sad. Um. I don't know whose house that is. I should probably ask someone. Eh. Wait, who's online? Oh, alright, well. Has that always been there? Oh, uh. Eh, well. I guess my kind of approach to things is things just kind of appear, and I, that's what it is. They're just there. Not my business. Like this? I mean, I vaguely think I know what this is. Gives me a really bad vibe, so I'm just I'm not gonna I'm not gonna touch that. I don't want to go there. Um. Oh, there's people over here. Okay. Well. Oh, actually, <laughs> oh, they're gonna be so mad. I like to take their doors. It's funny. It's funny. Well, not to them, but I think it's funny. Oh, lag. Okay. <laughs> Lag is now canon. I don't know what- what are they doing over there? Okay, well... Oh, I'm gonna go put chickens on the hill! Oh my gosh, I'm gonna put chickens on the hill. So, actually I'll talk about that. So, we have that little cottage over there. Hello, sir. Uh, we have that little cottage over there. Uh, I don't remember who built it, but... Someone keeps blowing it up, and it's- I don't know, it makes me sad. I don't like it. We put chickens here. We put so many chickens here. Oh my gosh. Oh, lag. Okay. Alright, let's see, let's see. <gasps> Baby! I'm just gonna get rid of all these eggs. I don't really need them. I mean, unless I want to make a cake. I can make a cake for everybody. That would be cool. Well, I don't know what they're doing. They're just kind of standing there. I'm just vibing on the chicken hill. Uh. Oh. Mall's back.
don't know what you've been doing. I'm just kind of vibing. I'm doing like a little tour. Fair enough. Talked about the shack for a little bit. I don't know. I like the chickens. The chickens are nice. Hang on. Oh, I'm just vibing and popping off. Ooh, actually, I need food. Well, I have food, but I need more food, so I'm gonna go take some. I'm just. I think the whole series of steam. Yeah, I, I don't know how those got there. They're just. Uh, oh, I wouldn't be able to tell you how why there's so many creeper holes or how they got there. I don't know. They're just there. Yeah, just created by the suicidal pests. Eh. I don't know. I mean, see, I don't like them because they destroy things and uh, rest in peace my property value. At the same time, though, I mean, uh, some people do. I, like, they're okay. Oh, I forgot I did that earlier. The rest like, of my kind are just... See, I don't mind them just because, I mean, they don't really get in my way too much. But, I don't know, it is kind of annoying when them. It's kind of annoying sometimes when I'm uh, just out and about and all of a sudden there's a hole in the side of my house. Because I don't have a roof or anything, so things just kind of walk in. Well, and also I didn't have doors for a little while, but, I mean, karma, I guess. Oh my god. I agree. They get pulled by phantoms. They're AFK right now, aren't they? See, I don't mind most things. Phantoms, though. Unbreed's just got a cyclone of phantoms above them. Really? Oh like, my gosh, wait, yeah, I see that. Just blind there. Would you like me to. Um, let's just say dispose of them in a very quick manner. I mean, if you have the option, I'll take it. Something's telling me they're not going to be around for much longer. I'm just going to eat my chicken and watch. Reality. Oh, that's how you know the lag's bad. I can't even eat my chicken. That is a very interesting ability. I don't know. It's just, it is what it is. It happens sometimes. It's fine. So, you know, changing the time of day happens. about the ability to warp time. Yeah, no, I mean, it just... It, 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 I do that sometimes. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know where I get that from, it just happens. I can do other stuff too, I mean... I, that's just... Uh, easy, I guess. I don't know. So this other stuff is more challenging? Oh! Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, uh, here, here, actually, uh, name... A passive... Entity. Pig. That's a little harder. Can you do that with items? Uh, I mean... Because items are entities. I mean, I can... I can put items into my inventory that I didn't have before without getting them. So I guess, yeah. So what you're saying is, you can create basically anything out of nothing. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, is that not a thing you can do? No. Oh. I mean, is that... 
So that's not normal. No, that is quite advanced magic, if I was to say. I mean, do you want something? I mean, no, I have everything I want, but it's just the existence of the ability itself is interesting. It's not like it's really getting in the way of anything, so I don't really see a problem with it. I don't know, it's just there. I'm not seeing it as a problem or the solution to potential other problems. Yeah, I mean, the good thing is, when I'm hungry, I don't even have to go out and kill anything, I can just... All of a sudden I have food, wonder where that came from. <laughs> I mean, I try not to use it too much, just because I don't think it's- I mean, like, I thought it was normal, to be honest, but I also felt like I should probably get stuff on my own instead of just, like, giving it to myself. That's probably a good, that's probably a good idea. I wouldn't okay. recommend showing this to many people, either. Uh, why? Some might try and exploit it their own ends. Okay, but why? <laughs> I mean, I don't really see what they get out of that. I mean, I asked you if you wanted anything, you said no. I mean, yeah, but I already have everything I want, but what I want isn't the same as the others. Well, I mean, I guess... I mean, you might be right. I don't know. But yeah, I feel like I've been saying I don't know a lot, and I mean, I feel like that's just the best explanation I have. I, I thought this was normal, and I I don't. <laughs> I was about to say I don't know again. I mean, that's really just where I'm at. I just I was just walking around giving a tour and just discovered that apparently I don't know. I'm weird, I guess. Wait, do you want to see something else that's really cool? Do you want to see something else that's really cool? What? <laughs> And just straight up fly. Yeah, wait, hit me. And are purely incorporeal. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> That's pretty much where I'm at. I don't know why this happens, or. Well, I mean, I know how I do it, but. I mean, you said you can't. I mean, you can't even do some of the other stuff I did. I don't, I don't know if you'd be able to do this, but... I See, here's the thing. I think I have the ability to kind of, like, transfer this over to other people temporarily, specifically the flying thing. Uh, I just don't, though, because I figured everyone else could do that. So with that flying thing, you don't do you take other types of damage like fire? Uh no. Do, do you have a flint and steel on you? Yeah, no, I'm just on fire. I'm it doesn't hurt. I'm just on fire. Mob still attack you? Uh, no. From what I know, no. Uh, actually, wait. Does it seem like they, does it the seem like they can even see? You? No, not really. I so mean, you are visible only to other people. You are completely incorporeal, and you can fly. Yeah. 
I don't know. So like... you turn into a ghost temporarily. I mean, kind of, but you can see me. If we want to talk about turning yeah, into a ghost, then I mean, I can, I, I mean, I can just do this. Hold on. I mean, I can just do that. You can just straight up turn in. Can you like walk through walls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I'm, I'm in the floor right now. You can't see me. So you can just straight up exploit different ghost powers and create things out of nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you, I, I thought this was normal until today. Like, uh, any of the stuff I did, can you not do that, or...? No, I can... I can make, like, potions and the like, which... No, nothing close to that level of magic. Well, uh, well, I mean... I don't know what to say to that. I mean, I I really thought that was normal. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's arcane magic. I mostly practice alchemy. Oh, no. Alright, well, that's annoying. I mean, I can do the thing I did before again, or I can just not. Oh! Oh, there's like... One other really cool thing I can do. Hold on. I'm doing this first, but there's like one other cool thing I can do. Stand like far away from me. Alright, no, I need you to just like look at me. Hi. <laughs> That looked like what what happens when you throw an ender pearl, but it just Yeah, but I don't need to do that. So like as long as I know where I want to go, or if I want to go to like let's say a person, then I can just I can just go there. So like an enderman? I don't know. Uh maybe, kind of. Uh but, like, I can go anywhere. Like, anywhere, as long as I know where it is. Right, so... If I just brought you somewhere that you have no idea where it is, you wouldn't be able to, like, visualize it in your head. See, so, but here's the thing, though. If you're there, I and then I can just go to you. But like, no, if you were like, trying to get, if you're trying to, most... if you're trying to describe a place to me that I've never been, I would not be able to go there. Right, not even if I, I showed you like a photo or something. No, no, I would need to be there to be able to go there. Mm. Uh, it's it's kind of weird though. Like it, it involves like these weird numbers. If I'm going to a place, and it's kind of hard to keep track of. Like it's not just I have to uh, visualize the place, but I also have to think about like numbers and stuff, and it's kind of hard. So I don't really go to like places without people being there that often. Right. So could you just set the numbers to a random value and just go there? Um, Even if you haven't been to that number of place. Probably? I haven't really tested that out. I mean, I could do that now and then go back to you after. Yeah, I mean, let's try it. Let's see how far this stuff goes. Uh, pick a set of two numbers. One thousand, one thousand. Let's check the distance as well. Okay. Uh, one second. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, no, I'm in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> wow, okay. Sounds about right. And then if you teleport back to me... Hi. <laughs> huh. So it's the number values and people you're teleporting to. It's just you can associate those number values with places. Yeah, I haven't really figured out, like, what the numbers mean. I just know that, like, certain places are certain numbers. Like, if you go in a specific direction, do the numbers change linearly, or is it just in random? I don't really keep track of the numbers unless I have to. So, I, I, that might be how it works? I don't know, I haven't really... Paid, I can test it. I mean, yeah. If we just do, like, 0 and then zero five and then zero ten, you should theoretically go in a straight line. I mean, also there's a way for me to kind of see the numbers, if that makes sense, so I can just do that and then start walking and see if they change. Like, how they change. I'll walk in a straight line and see what happens. Yeah, let's see. Alright, so if I walk this way, then one set of numbers is going down. If I go this way, it's going up. And then let's say I go this way. A different set of numbers is changing, but it's going down. And yeah, no, it's, it's, I think it might be a linear thing. I also, the one thing I did notice is it changes if I jump. Yeah. So, spatial coordinates, I guess. I mean, that sounds like it would make sense. So probably. It's just where you're teleporting to, but then, huh, then you can also just set those coordinates to the use of people even if you don't know where they are. Yeah, yeah, randomly I can just go to people. It's kind of cool though, because like, I'll get lost and then I can just, I don't know, go to someone else who isn't lost. <laughs> I don't think people have seen me do that necessarily, because, I mean, what I tend to do is if I ever have to use it, I use it and then I like immediately run away. Can you project that onto up? Like, can you, like, make me teleport like that? I don't know. I mean, I can try it. Yeah. Like, I can try and send you to me. Let's see how that works. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. That's. That feels exactly like an end pearl, but without the jarringness. It just feels like a much smoother version of an end pearl. Yeah. Because like when you throw an end pearl, you take damage. Like, you yeah. Take damage, but yeah, you just don't. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I don't know. I like it. <laughs> 